Can you tell everyone about your story? Yeah, I am an AP psychology teacher. I coach varsity volleyball. I'm a mom of two beautiful girls, a wife of an amazing husband. And all my life, I was known for my hair. Mm. I was known for the beautiful, thick, wavy hair that I always had since I was five years old. And then I had our youngest, Maddox, in 2015, May 2015. And in about August, when stress starts to hit us, uh, school, volleyball, life uh, was hitting. I noticed that when I was teaching, my shoulders were covered with hair. And I thought it was normal postpartum hair shed. And then I went to the dermatologist, and the dermatologist said, there's a chance you could have alopecia, and you could lose all your hair. Wow. Right. Did you know what that was? I had never heard of it before. Uh -huh. And then, of course, my mom tells me that she had it when she was growing up for just okay. a little bit. Um, it's an autoimmune disease that attacks your hair follicles and causes your hair to fall out. And then by the, you know, I, we took family pictures in end of, beginning of November. And by the end of November, I was standing in the shower with my hands full of hair in complete disbelief. Within three weeks, 90% of my hair was gone. And this was the only picture that three I took. Weeks. Three weeks. It was 90% was gone. And within six months, every single hair in my entire body was gone. How did you face the challenge of that? Uh, you know, as every hair and every strand fell out of my head, I felt as though my identity was being ripped away from me. Mm -hmm. And it was really difficult. You know, as a woman, we subconsciously connect ourselves right. to our hair. And with society being surrounded by media and everything, it was difficult. And I always questioned, how am I going to be a mom? How am, is my husband still going to love me? How are my students going to react to this? How am I going to continue living this way? And it was a difficult storm that I never in a million years ever thought I would ever experience. And what was um, your family and your friends' reaction to your condition? I'm a blessed woman. Mm. I have a husband who said, McKenna, it's just hair. It's beautiful. And my mom and dad are my rocks. They were and still are my complete support system. I have my beautiful friends, my daughters, who have supported me unconditionally. And I'm very blessed to have that unconditional love in my life that allowed me and gave me the courage and empowered me to get out of bed every single day. Mm. You know, because there's no other choice. Right. We have, we have no choice but to keep on going, right? Correct. You know, we all have a storm. Yes. Mine just happens to be visible. Mm -hmm. And you have two choices. Either allow it to define you or you define it. Mm. And I made a decision to define it. Wow. Right? And that led to you hosting your own TED Talk. Yeah. Yeah, tell us about that. You know, I had always joked around with my students. I said, you know, someday I'm going to do a TEDx. You know, yes. I want to, I feel like I'm always giving a TEDx in my psychology class every day. And I said, I'm going to do it. But we always have that fear right. of, am I good enough? Is my story mm -hmm. enough? Is it worth it? And there was an opportunity, and I decided to apply. And out of a couple thousand, nine were selected, and I was chosen. And it gave me an opportunity to share my story. Wow. <laughs> Since you talk, like, how do you continue to spread your message to others? The goal is, is to show that everyone has a story. Yes, ma'am. We are all battling something. Again, mine happens to be visible. And I am taking it upon myself. And what alopecia has shown me is that my purpose has always been there. And it's to, one, bring awareness to what alopecia is. Mm -hmm. Because it affects 6.8 million Americans. But it's also to prove that we are able to reframe life's challenges into gifts and opportunities. Mm -hmm. That we have to find the silver linings. McKenna, I was so touched by hearing your story. And there are a few others who want to share your impact that you've had on them. Um, and their lives. So take a look. It's very rare to meet someone who has the power to alter your views, your outlook, your life. And McKenna, you do that in the very best way. She is the definition of a badass. I aspire to be like her, um, especially when I'm facing challenges. I think WWMD, what would McKenna do? I know from the moment I met you that God has given you a specific gift and you are the perfect person to help us all feel empowered, to know that we can make it, to overcome challenges, and to stay steadfast in everything that we are doing. She is a beautiful soul, and I am just 
beyond grateful that she's come into my life. I'm so proud of everything that you've done throughout your life and, and recently to really inspire those around you. And I know that you've inspired me and you're gonna continue to do that for, for anybody that you come into contact with. We're just ecstatic that you're helping so many people and you're gonna be encouraging for so many people. We love you so much. We love you, Mom. We know you're going to do good. Love you. Love you. <laughs> Those girls are my reason. You know, to show that we love and to support adversity and diversity because it's what makes our world so beautiful. And to prove to my young females that we're going to be in dark storms every single day, but it is that we can stand up and I wanna to prove to them that whatever stands in their way, they're strong enough because I know I'm enough and they are worth it and I am worth it and every single person has to understand. Wow. 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 Thank you for sharing all of that. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.